Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're going to be ranking the top 10 best power forwards in NBA 2K22, my team. Before we hop into this video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 4,000 subscriber mark on the channel I upload every single day. I would really appreciate your support if you haven't already. If you do subscribe, we are really getting so, so close. I know I've mentioned in the last couple videos. We are getting very, very close to that mark, though. 20-something subscribers away at this point. Would love to hit that within the next couple days, so make sure you all subscribe if you haven't already to help support the channel. It's totally free and you can unsubscribe at any time if you do change your mind. But uh, yeah, without further ado, let's hop right into it. Let's start off with number 10, which is Nikola Jokic. A card that I do think is acceptable. He came out yesterday, obviously, or two days ago from when I'm actually releasing this video. Um, good card, but just I don't think he's quite elite enough, especially on the defensive end of the court, for me personally to run as like a top five power forward. But six along with seven three wingspan is good size. Hot spots from everywhere. 27 hops, include elite shooting badges, uh, bullet pass or quick first step, some decent play defensive badges. Defensive stats are pretty mediocre i will admit he doesn't have great defensive animations can't get ball stripper does need like limitless takeoff posterizer pick dodger ankle braces menace things like that you can add a couple playmaking badges as well if you want he's a great rebounder has really good rebounding badges um 96 shot three great speed as well for power forward 94 speed excel is phenomenal for a Jokic card uh and the release is pretty good set shot 14 on very quick is definitely a solid quick release pretty darn easy to green as well shifty dribble style Kawhi behind the back she's got solid six overall he's a very very good card i might honestly be underrating him a bit by only putting him at number 10 in fact I think I probably am. You know what? I'm going to make an executive decision. I'm going to move up to number nine because I do think he's great. Uh, I think he deserves, deserves to be a little higher. So I'm just going to adjust my list on the fly and put Thurl Bailey at number 10 instead of number nine. The thing about Thurl is he doesn't give you the playmaking ability that Jokic does, but he gives you a little bit more defense. So it really kind of depends on what you're looking for. Hot spots from both corners, 6'11". Good, really good finishing badges. A couple shooting badges um, that are on Hoff, like catch and shoot corner specials, needs dead eye, limitless spot up blinders, and chef all added. Uh, Hoff quick for steps, some really great playmaking badges, and really nice Hoff defensive badges as well elite all-around defender really nice and fast can shoot slash at a high level release is solid jump shot 22 on quick is definitely smooth easy to green and he is an elite defender does not have elite playmaking fundamental dribble style kobe size up i don't think playmaking is absolutely crucial to power forward position but he doesn't quite have that playmaking that a guy like Jokic gives you very very good defender though he's got good size solid all-around card definitely deserving of a top 10 spot at number nine we got carl malone who's actually one of i'm sorry number eight we got carl malone who's one of the shortest players on this list at six foot nine which just goes to tell you how to show you how tall and how important height is at this point in the year but four out of five hot spots 22 hoffs include limitless takeoff posters or catch corner quick first step and some really really great defensive badges absolutely incredible defensive stats as well elite rebounder nice and fast with 93 speed and excel 91 shot three elite dunker needs black blinders chef maybe a few playmaking badges pick dodger as well um carl malone release on quick is super smooth easy to grain not very easy to contest either which is nice quick dribble style kobe size up overall very very good card he was the best power forward in the game for a bit but at this point I think he's just fallen a little bit out of that conversation. Definitely still an elite card, but uh, yeah, number eight is where I have him slotted. At number seven, we got Jonathan Isaac, who's one of the best defensive cards in this list, uh, if not arguably the best. Um, absolutely an elite defender offensively he's acceptable he'll get the job done defensively he's absolutely incredible half limit let's take off post stars a catch corner sniper quick first step are some good offensive badges but his defensive badges are where he shines as well as the defensive stats with everything being 93 plus except for that interior defense which is still at 90 decent rebounder good speed and excel speed with ball good shooter dunker overall statistically very good he's got shifty dribble style the rest of his sigs to be completely frank, do not are not very good. They kind of suck. But shifty dribble style at least gives him a little bit of playmaking ability. And jump shot 70 with AD release on quick is definitely solid as well. It's not the fastest jumper in the world. That's one thing I will note, especially at this point in the year with a lot of quick releases being put on very quick. Um, but it's not slow. So it's not a bad release. Very easy to green. And defensively, he's one of the best cards in the game. So overall, I think Jonathan Isaac deserves to be around that spot. KD is the guy I'm going with number six. I think he's arguably the best small forward in the game. At power forward, not quite so good. Uh, he does have decent size 6974 wing spend but definitely not elite hot spots from everywhere 27 hoffs include the two best finishing badges limitless takeoff posterizer and fast switch is nice to have as well ton of elite shooting badges really nice playmaking badges clamps intimidator menace and pickpocket he really really good defensive stats the lack of hoff uh rim protector pick dodger ball stripper interceptor things like that rebound chaser do hurt him a little bit at the power forward position where i feel like that defense is a little more important especially with him not having elite size but 95 speed excel is absolutely incredible statistically he just is amazing across the board kd really sunk quick very quick is phenomenal very smooth 
fast and easy to green shift to dribble style pro two between the legs and pro three behind the back uh katie size up is fine as well overall pretty darn good sigs one of the best playmakers on this list for sure if not arguably the best and uh yeah katie might be the best offensive card on this list defensively not quite as good as a lot of these other guys so for me personally especially with his not elite size I think number six is the fair spot to put him. Number five, we got Patrick Ewing, who is uh, seven foot tall, which is very valuable. Definitely like having that height. Um, gives you more defensive versatility, makes mashing hard, rebounding, things like that. Uh, 24 Hoffs, hot spots from both corners. Some nice shooting badges like catch, corner, sniper, uh, downhill on Hoff as well. Really great defensive badges on the interior and the perimeter. Elite interior defensive stats, solid perimeter defensive stats. 90 speed and excel for a seven footer is pretty good as well. 85 shot three is fine and a 90 driving dunk as well is good. Needs like limitless takeoff mouse in the house. Dead eye, limitless spot up, blinder, chef, uh, ball stripper. So he definitely needs a lot of badges added. Once you badge him out, he's pretty complete. Jump shot four on quick is nice as well. It's nice and smooth, pretty it's decently fast. May not be the fastest release in the world, but definitely gets the job done. He is a very, very solid card for sure. Does not have elite six. Fundamental dribble style, I guess, is fine. The rest of his sigs are very mediocre, but he's a center at power forward. Gives you elite defensive versatility, elite size, uh, mash ability on offense, uh, preventing the mash on defense overall. Very, very good power forward option. Thon Maker is the second seven footer on this list uh, and the only pink diamond on this list, but he is absolutely incredible. Deserving of a top four spot, even as a pink diamond card. Um... And yeah, Thon is seven foot with a seven one wingspan, so he's got really nice size. Hot spots from four out of five spots. 15 Hoffs include posterizer, fast switch, catch corner sniper. Some really great flaming badges and Hoff pogo stick. And despite the fact that he only has one Hall of Fame defensive badge, the seven foot height does help make up for it. Solid all around defensive stats. Uh, does need like ankle braces, ball stripper added, uh, as well as chef. That's about it though on the badge side. He's an elite shooter, nice speed and excel, really good dunker. And his animations are great. Jump shot 47 with Kobe Bryant released on quick is very, very good. Very similar to in beads release in fact it might actually be exactly in beads release very very good release smooth quick and easy to green shifty dribble style the kd size up pro three behind the back at seven foot tall his playmaking ability is definitely glitchy uh having saves like that and a really good jumper he's got size he's got uh just versatility overall very very good card maybe the best pink diamond card in my team right now and i think he is number four on this list at number three we got mr david robinson who i still run uh, in some lineups i don't run him if I, I, he he's he's arguably a top two power forward i'll say that uh i personally probably have him three right now and that's why i'm putting him three on this list obviously but he definitely is still an incredible card seven one with a seven five wingspan hot spots from both corners 20 hoffs include catch corner sniper quick first step and elite defensive badge is really good defensive stats as well the 90 offensive and defensive rebounding um while not being super high definitely get this job done especially with hoff rebound chaser hoff box uh being seven foot one of the power forward position uh he's an elite dunker elite shooter a really great speed for a guy with that size as well d rob release on quick is one of my favorite big man releases in the game he's absolutely incredible movement is not great but that's not what he's there for he catches and shoots at a high level on offense can attack the basket smash and plays elite defense on the perimeter and the interior while having incredible size as well definitely a top three power forward in my book i'm a huge fan of this d rob card at number two we got mr netalicky bob who is the uh, unlimited reward for this season six now with seven foot wingspan so he is definitely one of the shorter guys on this list kind of like KD and Carl Malone but he has hotspots from everywhere 27 hops include some really great finishing badges catch corner sniper quick first step bullet passer and elite all of the way across the board on the defensive badges statistically and badge wise one of the most complete power forwards in the game and not only that he has set shot 25 with Steph Curry upper on very quick which is the fastest release of any card on this list 100% very very glitchy release hard to contest quick dribble style as well as nice to have which gives me that extra bit of playmaking ability he is honestly what i would say carl malone was to a certain extent when carl malone first was available in this game where he has a really great release great sigs the power forward position super versatile card elite release the release is really what makes this card but overall stats and badge wise also incredible very very versatile and well-rounded card i think bob is the second best power forward in the game but then at number one we got blake griffin I don't think this is a surprise to people who have used Blake. Blake is a dog. Um, really, everything about the card is incredible. 6'10 with a 6'11 wingspan is solid size. Hot spots from almost everywhere. 27 hops include basically any finishing badge you could want. Catch, corner, sniper as well. Quick first step and really, really great interior and some solid perimeter defensive badges. Uh, doesn't really need very many badges added. You can add like Chef, um, Stop, Pop, Slurf, Off Ball, Pickpocket, things like that, but really nothing crucial besides Chef. Um, great defensive stats. Uh, really fast. 95 speed and excel for a 6'10 guy is really 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 good 94 shot three is phenomenal he's an incredible dunker obviously has really good safe dunks as well which is nice to have he's not going to get blocked much um and the blake release on very quick is definitely very very fast one of the fastest
faster and harder to contest releases in the game with the shifty dribble style as well. The Kobe size up, the pro three behind the back. He's got playmaking. He's got an elite release. He's got defense. He's got decent size. He's an incredible slasher. Overall, the most versatile and in my opinion, the best power forward in the game right now is Mr. Blake Griffin. So this is my list of the top 10 power forwards in the game. Let me know what you think of the list down in the comment section down below. Who do you think I rank too high? Who do I maybe have too low? And who do you think I left off this list that does deserve a spot on the team? Um, feel free to let me know about that again in the comment section down below. And I will be back with more 2K content very, very soon. I appreciate y'all. Peace.